Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking another look at strings. Now we looked at strings in the last tutorial, and for the next couple upcoming tutorials, we are also going to look at some other stuff that you can do with strings. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to come up here, and we're going to declare a variable. So let's go ahead and dim a username as string. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prompt the user to enter in their username. So we'll just do console.writeline. What is your username? Now username is going to be equal to console.readline. So basically just get what they typed in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test to see if their username is a certain length. So we're just going to make a simple if statement. So if username, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add a period. So if username dot, and you can see here that IntelliSense pops up with a whole bunch of stuff that we can do. Um, you can copy, you can do dot contains. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can use um, with strings, and this is very useful. So what we're, what we're going to use is username dot length and now if you read the description for this it's gonna say gets the number of characters in the current system dot string object so if username dot length equals 10 then go ahead and do something so we'll just do console dot right line you have been granted access Now what we're going to do is we're going to add console.readline so that our program won't close right when we're done. So now I'll say what is your username and if I type in something that's 10 characters long so let's just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if we pre press enter it'll say you have been granted access. Now if we type anything else that's not equal to 10 so let's just do something more than 10 it's not going to say anything so let's just go back in here and add a simple else now what we're going to do is we're going to do console dot right line your username is not the right length So now if we run this, it'll say, what is your username? So if we type something that's not 10 characters long, it'll say, your username is not the right length. Now what we can also do, instead of using if username.length equals 10, we can just go ahead and do if username.length.equals, and then inside of the arguments for equals, it'll ask us for an object as an integer. So we'll go ahead and do 10 right there. Now this is just another way that you can test the length value of username and dot equals can be used for a lot of other other things in Visual Basic. So if we run this it should work. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it'll say you have been grant granted access. Now this is a really simple, t simple tutorial and you shouldn't have to practice it and um, go ahead and stay tuned for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.